welcome back to my channel and to another vlog so happy first of may to everyone that's watching this vlog today um well whenever you watch it i cannot believe it's may 1st already and you guys this is the month we go on vacation okay <laughs> i'm just literally so pumped up about our vacation um to arizona because we're gonna see my sister-in-law so i am so thrilled and yes i will be vlogging those full five days for you guys and i'm gonna put it all in one video so it's all gonna be in one vlog with different days and of course on the vlog you'll see day one day two so everything is gonna be laid out nicely for you guys so there should be like no confusion i'm just so excited because she hasn't met my daughter which is her niece and this is from my husband's side of the family. So this is his sister's house that we're going to be going to. And also our niece, so my husband's niece, um, graduates um, from high school on that second day from the day we arrive. So we have arrived on a Thursday and that Friday she graduates. So we are so thrilled to see that as well. We are so like honored to be a part of her senior graduation. So this is going to be amazing. We just woke up, me and my daughter. Well, technically, she was up at 4 in the morning, just having a great old time. Like, she wakes up with, like, this energy. But when she does wake up, she wakes up crying in her crib. So, yesterday, I had a friend that came to visit me. Actually, the the person that was my doula during my birth and stuff um, came to see me. And, you know, I was just giving her an update on my daughter and everything that's going on with her. And she was just giving me advice and encouraging me. And also, I told her about, like, her waking up every single night around the same time and when she does wake up like she'll just be crying like it's nothing like if she wants to be in between us and our bed like it's none of that like she just wakes up crying so she said it might be night terror and i'm starting to believe that because during the day she's perfectly fine like you know she'll nap perfectly fine but it's usually a night that she wakes up at a certain time so she woke up at four in the morning went back to sleep like at six and we just woke up and it's 9 51 so i just had breakfast and i just gave her breakfast but she doesn't seem too hungry so she didn't eat the whole thing but yesterday i had went um food shopping and i'm gonna show you guys what i bought her um this was her first time trying these guys i am in my little office um just filled out um our papers for um, developmental and behavioral pediatrician. We have the papers here and we filled them out and now it's just a matter of sending them back to the office for them and so there's a questionnaire for them to take us in um, but the wait is within six to nine months. So it's better than the last hospital I looked into and the last hospital was from nine to 12 months, the wait. To just get in for my daughter to get diagnosed. You know, whatever. Um, so then I found another hospital that does it as well. And their wait is six to nine months. Which is pretty, you know, it's normal. Whatever, the wait. So I'd rather just go with that. So I canceled the one at the other hospital. And I went with this one. I cannot believe I look this messy. Still. But anyways, y'all. My daughter just went down for a nap. I'm gonna eat like something light. You know, just so I can have a little snack. And then, the special instructor just left. She has so much information to give me. And, you know, she's very, like, she interacts with my daughter. And I love that. Um, and also, um, she's going to start her first session on next Thursday. So, I'm very excited about that. And I can't wait to start seeing, you know, a lot more progress on my daughter. So... I just wanted to address something really quick um let me just say like some people really have like no like idea that words do hurt you know and i just want to say that you know my daughter being in this process of being diagnosed with autism you know or whatever the diagnosis may be but the doctor you know her doctor did mention that there's a high possibility that she might be autistic which is why we've been in the process of getting her evaluated getting her you know all the help that we can to not make the the situation worse but 
make it better, if that makes sense. I just want to put out there that she's our daughter, mine and my husband. And we know her. You know, like, I would never say something that I know my daughter might not have or, you know, I don't think it's okay or whatever, if that makes sense. What I say is because I know what I'm saying. And let me just say something because some people just be having very interesting comments or just say like dumb stuff. Like, first of all, educate yourself. And if you know nothing about autism, don't comment down below or don't even comment my post on social media because I just find it very rude that some people are like, oh, you know, how do you even know your daughter has that? Like, why would you even say that? First of all, like I said, I'm with my daughter 24 hours a day. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I see my daughter every single day. I know her behavior. I know her needs and wants. I know what she can do and what she cannot do. So don't sit here and judge a parent who knows their child. Because I'm not the kind of mom who leaves my daughter every single day somewhere she shouldn't be. And I just go on about my day and do my things. No, I'm always with my daughter. And even though I'm home busy and stuff, I see her behavior and I know what she does and what she doesn't do. So I just think in general, people need to be very careful with their comments. And especially when you know nothing about the situation, that's number one. And second of all, when you have no type of education or when you have no type of idea with what, you know, autism even means like from the moment my daughter's doctor mentions was that she might be very highly um you know there's a high possibility that she might be autistic from the moment her pediatrician mentioned to us that we started doing our research like as her parents we got on it we were on our laptop we weren't sleeping for a couple nights after we found this stuff out we got her early intervention. Now she's doing special instructor that comes once a week and a speech therapist who comes once a week. And most likely will be getting occupational therapy as well once a week. So don't ever sit there and judge somebody without knowing their background, without knowing exactly what they're doing. And I know I look hideous right now, but I don't even care. Like I was just so fed up yesterday. I was talking to a friend and I was just tired of it because there's so many people out there that need to be educated on certain things okay maybe a lot of things about life because a lot of people all they do is just sit at home and do nothing with their lives but smell themselves all day sorry because i'm just fed up so before you even say anything before you want to put a little comment or all this and that check yourself and make sure you have the right words and make sure you have you have done the right research because from what I know, I've worked with ch with children who have autism. I know what it looks. I know the symptoms. I know the early signs. So the fact that we know our daughter, my husband and I know our daughter, and we know where she stands at, we know her strengths, and what she can do, like I say before in the video, we know who she is. We know who's our daughter. Like I said, we're her parents. I do thank those of you who've been there for us and you know who you are. I don't even have to mention your name because you know who you are, who've been sending through this process, who've been real with us. I can see who's going to stick with us from day one to the end of this journey. And I really appreciate that. But there's just certain people that need to keep coming to themselves. They just need to not comment at all on my post or anything. Because your comments are really irrelevant. And you know what I will start doing. I will start blocking you, deleting you from my social media, and that's it. So, like I said, I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done talking because I, I'm getting ready to explode. And she's up. Hey, baby. Now? And, you know, usually I feed her, like, right after she wakes up from her nap. Because I know it's like her lunch time. But <laughs> she um she started crying downstairs. Like I gave her two choices and she didn't want any. She just wanted to lay with mama. My princess. I want to lay with mama. Ooh, you showing off, huh? Mama has to cook because Bobby comes home from work in like 
an hour. Yeah, and then you know, Mama has to go to church and teach the girls. Okay? These are the times where I'm going to put the TV on for her because she's not going to let me cook, y'all. So, this is why I have to cook. She's probably going to start crying. Um, I'm just... Oh, uh, let's go back. I tried giving her options to feed her, but apparently she doesn't want to eat just yet. And I don't know why every time I'm vlogging, you guys, I feel like I'm cooking spaghetti. Like, but today I'm making chicken spaghetti, not, you know, ground turkey or ground beef. In case you're wondering, these are the spaghettis that I use, the thick spaghettis. Um, the brand is Brija, or however you call it, and then in the microwave I have chicken. Check up on this chicken. But yeah, this is this is the chicken that I buy. Like I buy white chicken, and then what I do is I just cut it into little pieces, and then I'm gonna just cook it up. It's still a little frozen, so we're gonna put it back. In. Let's just hit the start button again. Okay. Forgot to show you guys that this awesome gate that we have here um, somehow came out of place. So it's not closing at all. So you see how like far they are from like touching each other. Literally, there's a whole finger space there. This thing just literally came off because the way our steps are set up, they're very interesting. So I'm going to try to fix it, but I think I'm going to leave it for my husband because I've been losing my patience. But you guys, it's so beautiful outside. Oh my God. It's literally going to be, it's already 80 degrees today. Like it's going to be in the 80s all week. Like this is crazy. But at the same time, I'm hyped for summer. I don't know why, but I'm excited about it. Like tired of this cold weather and snow and ooh, weird weather. So, you guys see that she's crying, right? Okay, she's perfectly fine. Like, I'm feeding her and she's good. It's not the food or nothing. She just has those days where she wakes up from nap, like, very emotional. And today is one of those days. You okay? Oh, no. Seven some spaghettis herself. Ooh. Mm. I just finished having dinner. And I'm so sad because this is the main thing I wanted to have. With my dinner. Like, seriously? How did I forget avocado? How did I forget you, honey bunny? How? Hey guys, it's beautiful out here. Um, so, I'm on my way to church, you know, to teach my girls and stuff. And I'm over here like, I know what I'm going to talk about, but it's like, I didn't fully prepare myself. And you know, as a teacher slash leader... If you are a leader at a church, you know exactly where I'm coming from. You know, it's very tough. And these last couple of days been a lot going on um, with the family and stuff. And it's just been tough. It's been tough. But you know what? We trust God. And, and God is just. And he knows what he's doing. Uh, you guys, my hair still looks hideous. I just got home not too long ago from my church. Like I told you guys, I was teaching the girls today. but Which I didn't really teach today. It was just more like um, open floor for everybody like i just let the girls talk and express themselves and yes that's my daughter just wide awake at this time of night and it is 10 33 but anyways usually this will be like her bedtime but like i tell you guys we've been struggling a little bit with her sleep schedule that has been like the toughest part about this whole situation with her so i i'm on this autism mom group on facebook and um like I said, even though she's not diagnosed yet, but, like, we see it, and she's definitely showing early signs for sure. Like, there's no doubt of that. 
so we just try like even my husband is on a group um of autism dads on facebook as well which is awesome because we we see things and we can see like we can relate to other people who might be going through the same thing or whatever so i just wrote on it like just to see like if any moms are struggling with the same situation and can probably help you know like just probably like give us any suggestions or anything that might be helping them because i just feel like if something is working for me it might not work for you but then again it could be the opposite like something that's working for me might work for you as well so i just feel like we can help each other and i just feel like honestly i need more friends who are i know it sounds weird but that are going through the same situation because i feel like they can relate and they can completely understand me and my husband because i just feel sometimes like we're telling other people and they just look at us like what do you mean like <laughs> some people are not educated in this at all like i told you guys earlier in my video like a lot of people have so much to say but they have no idea what autism is or like they don't know that there's different levels to it like there's not just one level to it there's a lot of different things to go with autism and like i said like i told you guys earlier i know my daughter we know her like we're with her every single day like we know what we see and we know what we don't see we know what she's good at and what she's not good at so oh okay she's yeah she's having a good <laughs> too much energy <laughs> eliana come here say hi Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And my husband's playing Fortnite. Like, he's just having a great time playing Fortnite. Babe, are you winning? Oh. You gotta win to win a little more. Really? I still don't understand the game, but whatever. One of my girls just told me about this game called Granny. Like, yeah, I was like, Granny? Like, she says she's scary. She's like a grandma. I guess she kills you. Like, whatever. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what? Okay, that was your. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I'm sorry if it was short. But like I said, I don't really do a lot of exciting things during the week. So it really sucks. Like, that's why I haven't really been vlogging every other day like I was doing because... It's been a lot going on and now with my small business, like I'm really trying to grow it. So I'm trying to focus on all this stuff and also spending time with my daughter. Like it's a lot to try to balance all this out. Being a wife, a mom, a leader in a church, like yeah, it's a lot. But you know what? We're just getting through it every single day. Beautiful. So I will see you guys again on my other vlog. Um, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys next time.